Hi YouTube, it's Haig here, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to clone your hard drive with a Cronus True Image. So, basically, the entire operating system is what we can see here. Clone it onto a new drive so you don't lose any single file. And to do this, we're going to need a few things. Now, my setup here is a new solid state drive, which is a terabyte big plugged into this transfer cable in the USB slot of my computer. You can get both of these online. I'll have the link on Amazon and Newegg for these two things. I strongly recommend Samsung SSD drives. That just, I'm a big fan of Samsung's SSD drives. This terabyte drive cost me about $200. You're gonna secondly need a USB stick so you can create the uh, Cronus True Image bootable USB ISO. And we're going to get right underway on creating that. You also will need the full version of Corona's True Image to do this. And let's get underway. So what we do is you open up a Corona's True Image on your computer. And by the way, I'll show you how to configure your BIOS to boot from the USB stick and everything. You come down to uh, Tools here. Rescue and Media Builder. You're just going to click Simple. Uh, plug in an external drive. Make sure your USB device is in your computer. Make sure it's formatted. You can go down into the file here. Go down into this PC and you'll see your uh, USB stick in here. You just have to plug it in first. Once it's plugged in, you're going to see your USB stick. All right. Make sure you right click and go into format. You want to format the stick before you write the ISO image to it. Format's complete, and now you're set to uh, build the ISO file onto this flash drive. So, you're going to see your USB flash drive here. You click on that, and you're going to click Proceed. That's going to go ahead and write the uh, information to the USB stick and once that's done we'll boot the computer off the USB stick and I'll show you how to clone your hard drive. All right that's the USB stick completed once you get this notification here. You can close out of the Cronus True image, get to your desktop and at this time we're ready to shut the computer off and boot off to the USB flash drive that we just made. So what you do is you hold your power button down on your computer to it's completely powered off. Once the fan stops going, it's completely powered off. Okay, so now the computer's powered off. You're going to immediately turn the computer on and we're going to press the required key to boot from the BIOS. Now, it's going to be different for everyone. Some it's going to be the escape key, which it is for me. The others, it could be... I mean, it's the delete key for me that I had to push. Others, it's the escape key or F2 key. Your BIOS will tell you as soon as you power on the computer what key it is to boot to the BIOS. We need to configure the computer to boot off the flash drive. So right here, it says to press delete, enter BIOS. So I'm just going to mash the delete key here. And if I did that correctly, I should get my BIOS. And every BIOS will look different. So I'm generally trying to find a boot section. And the main concept here is to change the boot order so we can boot off the flash drive. You can see here that it's scheduled to boot to Windows already as the default boot drive. So we're going to change that. We want the USB stick. And I can tell right here that this is my USB stick. It's 16 gigabytes and I have a 16 gigabyte USB stick in the computer right now. And it says partition one. So that's where the uh, Cronus True image is on. So we're going to select that and we're going to save this on our BIOS and now if you haven't gotten this far and you need help finding how to boot off your BIOS check your computer's manufacturer do research about your particular BIOS and how to boot off a USB stick it should be similar to do it for every BIOS it's just BIOS's layouts and user interface will be different for everyone but the main concept is to configure it to boot off a USB flash drive and once you've done that you're in good shape. So now we're going to be booting off the uh, USB stick and that will load a Cronus True image. And then I'll show you how you clone your hard drive from there.
Just give it a second to load. It's a bit slow because it's trying to load off a USB stick here. All right, we got the Acronis True image up. So we're gonna go up to Tools and Utilities and we're gonna go down to Clone Disk. Oh, say Automatic Recommended, just click Next. Here's the important part of the video. You have to select the drive in which you wanna clone. The drive in which I wanna clone is my other solid state drive, which is a 111 gigabytes. That is where the Windows operating system file, the Windows operating system is installed, sorry. You want to choose the drive where Windows is installed because we're cloning the entire operating system. So I'm selecting the Samsung drive that I have, which is my other SSD drive currently in my computer. And then I'm going to come down and click Next. Now, this is very important that you select the drive where Windows is installed. Otherwise, you're backing up a different drive. I have a flash drive, as you see here. And then disk one is a mechanical drive, which is a secondary drive. I know for sure that the Samsung SSD has Windows 10 on it, and that's the one I'm interested in. So make sure you select the right one, click next. And it's just gonna pull up this and we'll give it a second. So it's going to ask to select a target drive, and the target drive is going to be the drive you're cloning to. So in this case, Acronis True Images recognized the USB, the uh, transfer cable in the USB port of my computer. And that is this drive right here that's plugged in. So I'm going to select that, and I know because this is about a terabyte big, it doesn't say Samsung, but... I know for a fact that this is the drive I want. So you just need to make sure you're choosing the right drive you want, otherwise you're gonna make a big mistake. So once you choose the drive to clone to, you're gonna click next. And we'll replace this disk on this machine and clone with a bootable OS. That means your computer will boot up into Windows, right? On your new drive. So click next. And click proceed. And this is going to uh, go ahead and start cloning the drives, merge into partitions. And from this point on, I believe you just follow the on-screen positive instructions. I can't upload a big file to YouTube, so I'm going to end the video since I'm recording over a phone right now. But if you've gotten to this point, you should be in success of cloning the drive. If you enjoy my videos, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.